both groups of CA enter in the first attempt. I think it still is worth it. So my journey began January when I was in class 12. Is CA doable with regular college? How do you manage academics? It's simple. You six to seven hours worth of lectures. So is it hard? So what is hard is not the academic part of it. What is hard is trying to balance everything. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ananya. If you're new here, please subscribe. Today's video is very special. As you can see, I have a very special guest with me. Hey guys. So she is Sara Bapna, my friend from SRCC itself. And this video was very requested. I told you in one vlog that Sara has cleared CA and you guys were like, make a video. So here we are. So Sara has passed both groups of CA inter in the first attempt itself. She's also a city ranker and along with that she got an exemption in 5 out of 8 papers. So that's crazy and we have an expert here with us to enlighten us on everything related to CA. So today's video is going to be a lot of information. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with the most basic question. Why did you choose to do CA? So as many of you know, CA or the Chartered Accountancy course is one of the most sought after professional courses when it comes to students who take up commerce uh, in 11th and 12th. It is recognized globally. It gives you a solid base in uh, core finance and uh, core commerce subjects, accountancy, law. So these are subjects which I've always liked and seeing those subjects, I thought this is the right path to go ahead with because a professional course gives you um, that little extra push when it comes to your career choices, gives you a lot of flexibility to make switches and is still today a, a very evergreen field which is always in demand. I think a lot of people were also asking that, you know, is doing CA right now worth it considering so many people give the exam now? I think it still is worth it because you just know that once you see the prefix CA before anyone's name, you know that their knowledge, their expertise is going to be pretty solid. Even today, the course is such that it gives you a three years um, work experience by the time you become a qualified chartered accountant. So that I think is a major plus when it comes to taking up this course. It's not just an examination. It is a whole five year long journey where along with being academically proficient, it also gives you that exposure when it comes to working right in the field. So I think that's true because it gives you a push because like almost 50% of SRCC students do CS. Ka matlab hai value to hogi and it does look good on your CV ki tumne kuch extra bhi kar hai. Especially when we do BCom honors, I think. Agar saath mein CA kar hoga to achha lega kuki BCom honors akele is not sufficient I feel. Unless you do it from somewhere like SRCC then it's different. But otherwise mujhe nahi lagta ki sirf BCom honors se bohat kuch fayda hota hai. So I think it's a good choice like that. What it also does is, BCom honors, this, the course is structured such that you just get to be familiar with the subject and by the time you know the semester has already ended. Yeah. CA is a very rigorous course. So your knowledge of the subject has to be very in-depth. And that is something which sets apart a BCom honors graduate to someone who has cleared their CA exams because the kind of rigor it requires academically is just a whole lot different from your regular college exam. So, um, adding on to this, why did you go for CA and not other courses like CMA, CFA that's a little more popular now? In the recent years, there's been an upsurge of students who started taking up other professional courses yes. like CMA, ACCA. But CA, even today, at least in India, is a very natural choice. Um, again, the ICI, the body in itself is very, very powerful. The opportunity for chartered accountants is also always on the rise because it is more generalized. When it comes to ACCA, it is like a CA course tilted towards the UK, yeah. whereas CMA is a little more niche. Right. So with CA, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Moreover, as you clear your CA exam, you also get a benefit when you sit for your ACCA exam. Oh, yeah, right. So mm -hmm. once you become a qualified chartered accountant, there are certain papers which are exempt in ACCA. So going ahead, even for me, once I am through with my CA finals, I might also consider going for ACCA because I get that added advantage of already clearing the Chartered Accountancy exams in India. Okay, so the next question is that when did you start preparing for CA? Like when did your journey begin? So my journey began somewhere around um, January when I was in class 12. So around that time, there was the COVID uh, break basically. At least for me, I come from Mumbai and the lockdown was such that we actually never got a chance to even go to school. So January of 2021 is when I started preparing for my CA foundation exams. In November of 2021, I clear, I gave my CA foundation exams. I cleared with a distinction. After that, the exams in around December and I started preparing for CA inter right after my CA foundation exams. 
So literally the coaching was such that within three days I had to start my lectures oh and it came to CA inter. Mm-hmm. Around that time I still wasn't very sure about taking admission in SRCC. What I was sure of that um, I had already taken admission in a college in Mumbai. Moving on a few months later, I kind of zeroed in on the fact that I will be pursuing my undergrad from SRCC Delhi. And with that, um, I continued with my uh, lectures, with my coaching um, online in here in Delhi. And that went on around till July. Post which I had a three month uh, time frame to complete my revision. And then I sat for my first eligible attempt of CA inter, which was November of 2022. And I was through uh, both groups in that. So uh, one question that people ask because you've been preparing for quite some time, right? So is it hard? Okay, so what is hard is not the academic part of it. What is hard is trying to balance everything. For me, the difficulty was not preparing for the exam. The difficulty was preparing while making sure I don't miss out on college. So my friends here can vouch. I have attended college. I was a part of a lot of societies. I took up a cabinet. I had good college academics. Uh, my attendance was also pretty good. That is what makes the preparation hard. When it comes to just the academic part of it, it is not hard. All you need is consistency, discipline and the drive to be in that rigorous preparation. What you need is a drive and a focus ki rose uthna hai, rose padna hai, rose lecture and karni hai, rose revision karna hai, mock test likhne hai. It's just like clockwork. If you keep doing this for a prolonged period of time, there is no chance in the world that you will not be able to correct the exam. Right. I think the consistency comes with any exam. If you have to study anything, you have to study regularly. Karna hi and uh, coming to that, as Sara very rightly mentioned, Sara's attendance is the most She had a POR as well in the second year, in the one of the societies. So again, coming to that as well, two questions here. Ke ek to is CA doable with regular college? Clearly you did it, but how? And you managed so many different things. So like, just tell us about your strategy. How did you manage your time? Or just Give us some tips ki kaise karna hai sab kuch manage. When I entered the gates of SRCC, it was a whole new world for me. Coming from Mumbai, um, this might sound a surprise to some of the viewers, but SRCC is not very, very well known in parts of the country yeah. like Mumbai. Because again, Mumbai has very, very good other commerce colleges, so people don't really know too much about you or the society culture or how the academics shape stuff like. So it was a very new world for me, which I didn't want to miss out on. Um, to be more specific, I took a part in a lot of societies. So I was part of economic society, debating society. I had some societies which are linked to my interests. So right now I'm also holding a position in the English Literary Society. I was part of Yamuna, the college magazine, Kalak Chetran, dance society. So I had a good mix. Why? Because I didn't want to miss out on the experience. At any point of time in the three-year undergrad degree, if I didn't want to do CA, if I felt CA was not the choice for me, I wanted to know what is it that interests me. Somehow, my interests also aligned with CA and I kept on with the preparation. How do you manage academics is simple. You just need to take out time for yourself. So I'm someone who is an early riser. I used to study before college hours. So I would usually wake up at around 5, 5.30. I would complete some of my lectures before coming to college at around 8, 8.30. Then I would come back from college, let's say, take lunch, take a bit of rest. Then I would watch another three hours of lecture or so. And after that, I had some hours for myself to go out, um, revise, study for college, whatever other things I had to do. That's how my day was structured. So roughly six to seven hours worth of lectures, maybe two, three hours worth of other academic commitments, so assignments or revision. That is how much I would study on a daily basis when it came to college times. Mm-hmm. When we had vacation for something, uh, I got more time, especially at home. Right. So yeah. I would study a little bit more. Any revision or any backlog which I had, I would cover during vacation time or during weekends. So that's how I managed my time. Okay, so yeah, I think the crux is that Look, it's all going to happen. It's not so difficult. It's just that how you manage your time, how you decide to spend it. How are you structuring your day? Like she said, she was waking up at 5.30. It's not something you usually do. But if you need everything, you have to do it. You have to do it at night, you have to do it at night. These are just some things you may be sacrificing on right now. But in the long run, I think it's going to really help you out. That you have to do it at night, you have to do it with your friends. Everything is going to happen. But you need to be disciplined. You should know that you have to do it, so you have to do it. And when you have to go out, you have to do it. So I think that's the thing, right? Perfect, exactly. Sab kuch karna hai, time pe karna hai. Har cheez ka ek samay hota hai. Just keep a balance of what you're doing. Right. So if there were days where I went out a lot, there were days I used to cover that backlog on days where I would just study for the mm-hmm. day. So you just need to be a little smart with how you balance your things throughout the week. And just go ahead with it. So since you've already pretty much shared a very basic strategy for us, can you tell us that you had given how much time you had for studying for the foundation as well as the intern, like how many months?
Okay, so this is just part one of the video. I think it was already quite information heavy. So I decided to break it up into two parts. But in the next video, I'll be asking Sarah so many more important questions about CA that I'm sure will help you guys a lot. So definitely stay tuned for part two. It's going to be even more insightful. And yeah, if you made it till here, comment these emojis. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends, follow me on Instagram and until next time, bye!